In this video we're going to go over some of the new updates to Express with the release of version 2.5. There will be videos that go into more detail about the different features we'll discuss here. This is meant to be just a general overview of what's new. Let's start with the fact that you can now sign into your Google account from inside of Express to access resources stored on your Google Drive. To do that, click the hamburger to open the side menu. Then click the Options tab and click on Accounts. Here you'll see a new option to sign in with Google. You'll enter your password. Click Allow. And you'll see that you're signed in with your Gmail account. Now I can do things like open up images stored on my Google Drive. So click on the Google Drive icon and now I see images stored on my Google Drive. I'll select one. Drag it. Now I've directly embedded an image file that was stored on my Google Drive. A couple other cool changes is the updates to the user interface. You can now adjust toolbars to make them vertical or horizontal. We also added the ability on the side menu to see thumbnails of pages. I can also rearrange pages now by clicking, waiting for the to highlight, and then dragging it to where I want to place it. And this way I can rearrange the pages in my Express workbook. We also made it easier to access the page settings options for changing the background color and transparency of the page. This feature used to be located on the side menu. Now it's been placed on the presenter toolbar. Clicking here will give you quick access to change the background color as well as change the transparency of the page. So here I can make my background transparent. And then I can annotate it over top of my desktop or over top of other applications that may be open behind my Express application. I can also change the page style from blank to lined or grid. And I can add or remove subdivisions and change the line spacing. We've also made it easier to work with objects you've placed on the page. Use the Select tool to grab an object, and when you drag it around the page, you'll see that guidelines appear to help you align the object with other objects that are nearby. You can also resize the object using these little handles, and rotate objects easily. We also added a Select Lasso Tool option to help you select objects that were difficult to select with the old Rectangular Tool. Now I can select them and move them together. I can also group them, and now they behave as one object. Similarly, you can select a group of objects and change their properties altogether. When you log into your Google account, if you use the web page tool, you can go directly to your Google Drive. And here you can browse the files located on your drive and open many of those file types and directly embed them straight into the Express page. For example, open this Google Slideshow. And then click Present. And now I can present the Google Slideshow as an object inside my Express window. I can cycle through the pages and annotate over top of them, just as if there were any other object on my whiteboard. This is nice because now I don't have to exit my Express and go open a web browser to view documents that are stored in my Google Drive. To move this around the page, just click the unlock button and you can change where it is located. Another new feature of Express 2.5 is the addition of some additional symbols in the symbol set. We've added some music notation. You can add a staff and then add some notes and other music symbols. And then when you click on them and drag them onto the staff, it automatically sizes them and helps you snap them into place. We also added some math symbols. Similarly, when you click on them and put them next to each other, 
It gives you a guideline so you can keep everything aligned and looking neat. We also added a grid option so you can quickly create a grid then use the line shape to snap lines onto the background of the grid. Another nice feature is being able to export and print pages. So if my side menu is open and I click on the snapshot tool, I can select a, rect a freehand selection, a rectangular selection, a full page, or all pages. If I select just part of a page, it gives me the option to copy to my clipboard, save it to a file, or print it. If I copy to the clipboard, then I can paste that piece and use it as an object elsewhere on the page or on in another application altogether. If I select the snapshot tool and select all pages, I have the option to save to file, which will save it to a PDF, where I can print it to my printer. The print option is not available if you're using the Android version of Express. Alright, so we've covered most of the new features in Express 2.5. If you're already using Express, then this is probably all you need to know in order to go get started to use new features. If you're a brand new user, however, you'll want to check out our other videos that go over each tool in more detail to help you learn how to use the application. Alright, we hope that you enjoy it. Please let us know what you'd like to see in the next version.